what Henry Kissinger I'm doing this show. I'm done. <laughs> it's what Kissinger said. Power is the greatest it's, of all. Hey, this show might keep you out of prison. You're not with those other farms. <laughs> well, we're going to get it, but anyway. Hey, this show is at the pinnacle of our, uh, our career. Oh, wow. <laughs> No, it is mine. No, you're right. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome once again to another ed- edition of the Volpe Basil Report. Practice, and you notice, been here and so notice we start out with Volpe Basil, not right. Basil I Volpe. I know that, but I see you had a practice because you kept going away having those mic times. <laughs> so anyhow, so uh, once again, hello, ba- Andy. Welcome to your Brian show. Brian McGalley with us. How you doing? Uh, Darren Rigger, our, both our great political consultants here tonight. <laughs> See, Darren, he does like you. He's doing a show with you. I've now, never done a show. Yeah, with, uh, I know. This is the 15th time. Oh, he's yeah. always in Florida. All right, so while we're talking about Darren. He, where do you vote, by the way? I New just got Florida. Florida. He, he, yeah. wasn't, okay. he yeah. wasn't yeah. in Florida. Yeah. Uh, Mar-a-Lago. Uh, he oh, wasn't oh, in Florida <laughs> last time I told you. He was putting the Volpe name on all his properties. You go down Ridge Street, it's like going down the West Side Highway. Volpe, Volpe, Volpe. Yeah, we ran out of trees. There's not enough. <laughs> the signs. <laughs> okay, anyway, you have an announcement. All right, we have an announcement tonight. Uh, let's start out with, it's the Peteal Democratic City Committee, uh, with a whole bunch of people is doing, uh, inviting everyone to a spring fling, and they're honoring, of all people, Darren J. Rigger, Me. New York State Democratic hey. Committeeman, former Peekskill Peak City Council member, and former Democratic Committee Chair. Congratulations. And, and, and you know, I love this because... Mind you, they're doing it Saturday at the Taramina 2 restaurant here in City Peekskill from 3 to 5 o'clock. Now, everybody knows that I've got a business here in town, and Saturday <laughs> it's 8 to 6, and I can't move from the store between those Well, we actually discussed that. Hours. We discussed it. We said, so, when can we do this that Dominic Volpe can't show up? Right. So if you want to lock me out from something, just make it on a yeah, Saturday from 3 to 5. Read the small that. print on that. It's not actually in Taramina's. There's a phone booth <laughs> on the outside that should fit it's all on the his 14th. friends. <laughs> Saturday, May 14th. Saturday, May 14th, 3 to 5. Anyone who'd like to honor Darren that's, for that's all when you know work. when you know now, you're very old. Is that a fundraiser in your honor? Yeah, no, okay. it's a fundraiser for the Peaksville Democrats. But in your honor, though. Yes. Well, it's, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, it's, it's their, their they, annual that, fundraiser. They, they're honoring that, me at now, it. Right? Are they honoring you for no longer being the chairman they're, and no longer <laughs> being a councilman? They're saying, thank God he's no, gone. It's when you're old. When you're old, they start to do things like in your honor. You know, Next is the Lifetime Achievement Awards. The applause just for showing up and being alive, you know. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm about to look forward to. That's so, next, next thing is... Uh, now, we have... Uh, what I want to talk about now, Dominic... Shelly we, Silver. We, we, well, before we get leading into that, we're going to segue. Because do you realize we have the only two Democrat co-hosts of consulting firms in New York State that is not... <laughs> Being investigated <laughs> by, Knock on by wood, our, <laughs> I mean, that shows you that at least that you know they're the exceptions to the rules. They're the honest Democrats. I will say this: not yet. No, no, yeah, they knock on wood. no, no, their mistake. They actually they got screwed by their own party. They were the victims of the corruption. Now, I now Darren can give us no, the my, my, my friend, might've... my friend Mike Moray, <coughs> and I. Is it Moray or Moray? Mike Moray. Maury. That's a Moray. Maury? No, Maury? it's Moray's an eel. Yeah, and Moray's he's making French now. He's in Italy. <laughs> he's right in Italy. Now. Michael yeah. Moray. Yeah. <laughs> he's in Italy. So was Astorino. No, but he was working for Chris Quinn's campaign. Right. And I too for supported mayor, right? Chris Quinn for right. Christine yeah. Quinn. Yeah. So I think a lot of the people that are under investigation were Bill De Blasio people. Right. Yeah. Right now. Red before horse. that. Now, before we go into because before the Daily News and actually the New York Post did it first before the Daily News. Somebody else broke this story, and nobody paid attention. But it was done up here first. And I think it was, you were working for another publication. I was. Oh, no, we all know that uh, Brian is the publisher, owner, water boy. He cleans the rooms of the pizzapost.net. He's everything. Did you, say wa- did you say water boy? Peekskill Post. Water, net. water boy. Oh, boy. Water I thought he's a water board. No, that's what he Sometimes does. that's what it feels that, like. <laughs> that, that's part of his sex he's thing. He's got a new he's, way of interviewing, I guess. Is, uh, <laughs> part of his sex thing because he's kinky. I get everything out of my need. <laughs> and it, Anyway, uh, what, how'd you break the story? Where, where well, in, tw- in the 2014, I was on paternity leave, and you I were um, pregnant. No, I was not. I was not on maternity leave. I was on paternity leave. Just had Reagan, and um, you had Reagan. I thought I thought Christine. You know, we got to get through this show sometime, don't we? <laughs> we had Reagan together. Um, that must have been an interesting. I, I got a phone call from somebody who said, "Do you believe all this money just turned up in the Putnam County Democratic Committee's coffers?" 
They have over half a million dollars. They usually never have anything over $5,000. And it all came in the last month, and it's from developers and people have no connection to Putnam County whatsoever. People in Texas, people in New York City, John Katz and Matides, et cetera. So I said, whoa. So I looked it up, and I saw it. And since I was on leave, I called into my company. We were the day before deadline. I said, hey, I have a story. You guys should do it. The three people I spoke to there said, there's no time. We're not doing it. So I took it upon myself to do it. I broke the story. I ended up winning an award for it. And um, basically, I spoke to the people of Putnam County at the, uh, the committee. And they said, we have no idea why this money is here, but we're glad to have it. We didn't solicit it at all. And I said, well, I've, I've traced it. It's gone to two candidates, Gibson and um, J right. uh, Wagner. And so they're like, well, you know, that's, that's great that, you know, we allocate resources the way we want to allocate them. I called Falk. I called the person running for, um, against Mary Lynn O'Dell for county executive. All these other candidates of Putnam County Democrats. That was Oliverio. Yeah, they didn't know about it, and they were pissed. They said, are you kidding me? All this money showed up. First of all, how to get there? And no one told us about it. And so that went out online um, the day before the Daily, uh, I think the Daily News, New York Post, whoever it was, one of the city papers broke it the day after we did, or I did. And then um, News 12, I don't think paid attention to it at the time. Low Hydro News, as usual, nowhere to be found. Um, well, it was above 287, it doesn't Right, matter. right, right. right. And, and, and so now, yeah. lately, with all this investigation going to de Blasio, this has taken center stage. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting for me because I was the first now one to report on you, it. Now, you told me you were making a call to the new DA of Putnam. Is Bob he, Tendy, is yeah, I called him. Is he interested in this? He said that, um, when I asked him, I, this is last week now. I yeah, I said, I, I, I said, said, I gonna, I said yeah. the new DA. Right. I said, are you going to investigate? And um, he said, investigation is the wrong word. We're looking into it. He said um, this fundraising scheme, if you will, seemed to have originated in a different jurisdiction, New York City. And so we're letting them look at it. If there was anything be of, you know, below board that happened in Putnam County, then we would start an investigation. What, what's the gist of this? Is it The gist is there was money being funneled. For, there's, there's two parts, a pay to play for de Blasio. Okay. Developers, people with permits in, 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 you know, in, that wanted permits before the city. De Blasio said, hey, why don't you send money to these committees upstate, these Democratic committees? We want to take the Senate. So they just sent these huge oh. donations, 50000 all these things. You can't send it to an individual candidate because it breaks the thing. And then there was an understanding the committees would get it and funnel it off to Justin Wagner and these other um, politicians. There were three Senate candidates that went through. Right. So it was exactly. a way of laundering or redistributing basically, the basically money in order to... it was getting to... around the campaign yeah. finance laws, and it was pay to play because they had a permits that they wanted to prove in New York City, and the Blasio was saying, hey, the guy from Texas, how the heck does he know about the Putnam County Democrats? Right, exactly. It's, it was obvious. Right. Well, maybe you know they why. had sex with the same cow. <laughs> now, what I'm, now, what I'm hearing, right, yeah, which is what do you got from the city end? Is uh, it, it might involve the Working Families Party to a certain degree. Yeah. Because if you go back a little bit further, what, what had happened is the Working Family Party and elements within it were supporting this woman, uh, Zephyr Teachout. Zephyr yeah. Teachout. Yeah. Making that kind of like a, a primary <coughs> to make a point against Andrew well, Cuomo. Right. Yep. And she took 95% of the counties. Well, Cuomo was very angry, right? Cuomo was yeah. mad at the Working Family Party. Yeah. So now that he was going to be the, the Democratic nominee, uh, he threatened not to run on the Working Family Party's line. So if you're a political party, if you don't get you at least 50,000 votes for governor on your line, you don't show up. You vanish yeah. for four years. For the next, yeah. Right. right. Which doesn't affect Andrew Cuomo. He could have made them go away. He literally could have just denied them the line and just make them go away. Yep. Who needed the line? Bill de Blasio needed the line. Because Bill de Blasio's right. re-election campaign happens during that four-year hiatus. Mm -hmm. So, and he won partly because of the support where the Working Family Party is very influential, like in Brooklyn and down Aren't in Aren't a lot City. of people connected to him, the ones that kind of started the Working well, Family Party? Well, this is what party? happened. So now well, they're, saying, they're saying now that uh, when uh, he brokered the deal, I don't know if you remember this, but during the, conve the, de right. the conventions, he brokered the, the deal between he the Working de Family Party, de Blasio, right. between, now he, doesn't, he has a bad relationship with Cuomo. Right. He brokered the deal between Cuomo and the Working Family Party that Cuomo would take the line under the agreement that he would campaign for Democratic State Senate and raise $10 million <laughs> to do so. It fell apart, and Cuomo said, I'm not going to do it. And he didn't. He didn't campaign for the State Senate. He, right. didn't he likes the, the divided. No. So the working elements Just of the Working pause. Family Party went back to Bill de Blasio and said, you're on the hook for the money. So Bill de Blasio felt compelled to somehow pull together some of his advisors and come up with a way to raise the money to supplement these State Senate campaigns but not do it through the Democratic State Party since Cuomo 
controls the Democratic State Party. Thus, the scheme was hatched. Now, who leaked this memo? The sugar man, Cuomo. Cuomo, right? Has I to think. Been. Uh, ha now, yeah. now he's in hot water with his uh, his boy well, yeah, Prococo. Well, separate. No, I know, but I'm yeah, saying it's a whole separate. Joe Prococo maybe took money from a, a firm. Yeah, but now right. before well, we right. do it, before but it's we just do like this, never ending. This woman that uh, what's her name? The De, De Blasio's uh, the woman that was uh, subpoenaed. Uh, well, a lot of people now got subpoenas. Yeah, but there's all this the one firms, woman that, all the consulting uh, firms. One of the, that's uh, his, his top advisor is Emma Wolf. That's yes, it. Emma she Wolf. right now <coughs> she made her bones with Acorn, and they had problems with the state. In fact, Acorn had to disband in New York. Well, Working before. Family Party has had a lot of problems. Right, but right. They, they they were make, they were all working. But out they never of really the, go away. No, but they were working <laughs> out of the same office. It seems the Working Families Party and Acorn, and you know they're not supposed to. Uh, what is it? Uh, well, well, two uh, unions just divested from Working Family Party. Walked right. away. Which ones? Uh, the teachers union. Coordinate the work. And, uh, UFT. The yeah. Okay. UFT, the teachers union, and the uh, Mason tenders and the laborers right. of all. And part of it had to do with Bernie Sanders, because now Working Family Party has gone all in on Bernie Sanders right. in right. New okay, York. So that's what I heard. Yeah. And the teachers endorsed Hillary. Yep. And but the I, teachers said, "Wait a minute, we gave you money for party building activities. We didn't give you money to go campaign for Bernie, who we didn't endorse." So now that the Working Family Party is kind of feeling their own muscle and endorsing their own candidates, even though their candidates <coughs> are not going anywhere, are not going anywhere. Yeah. They're trying to, they're constantly trying to make a point. And some of these other people would like to win elections. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say about this uh, Emma uh, person with Acorn, this Emma person, and they were not supposed <laughs> to coordinate with the uh, with the uh, parties. No, you yeah, yet they, they were working out of the same. Independent office. expenditures can't have coordination. Right. Yeah, and also, yeah. if you gave money to the Peekskill Democrats, <coughs> I say. If you if you want to if you want to elect uh, uh, Andy Bazo to state senate, <laughs> if you want to elect Andy Bazo to state senate and you you go to give him money, and you say I want to give you ten thousand dollars, and he says I can only take you know four thousand yeah. or whatever the limit is, uh, uh, but give it to the Pixel Democrats, and they'll get it to me. That's, now you're now you're violating campaign finance yeah, law. You're, right? you're now circumventing, yeah. and, you're it's, and they found that they knew yeah. what, that that was planned out by this but investigation. But if you walked so up to the Pixel Democrats independently and said, "Pixel Democrats, I know that you as a party committee do party building activities. Here's ten thousand dollars," and the Pixel Democrats print brochures as long as every single one of our endorsed candidates appears on the right. on the brochure that's on a palm card or on legit. a sign. That's a so that obviously didn't that's happen legit. when we can't so just turn around and give when the, the people in Putnam County, the Democrats who were running for major offices like county executive, didn't even know this money was there. They weren't even no. told it was there, and it was being given to other Democrats that they didn't even know about it. And it's and really opening up a can of worms because it happens all over the state. So right. it's, yeah. so, so it probably but, happens a lot of places. Not to go too crazy because we got other things, but but we had uh, State Senator Murphy on here. Remember when he won? Yeah. And his words to us that night was that he said. If this were a congressional race, this would have been the seventh most expensive race. Right. Yeah. yeah. Financially. So where was where's where's all that money coming from? Was that the one being shoveled, shoveled down right. through Dean Scalos through PACs, and that's legitimate? Then it's just so it's just a matter of the you got illegitimate thing. people doing legitimate things. In right. That one. Right. Dean Scalos it's, it's being really, illegitimate. It's really because anyway, the Republican but, but. even the Republican candidates here in Peekskill locally, when you get their uh, flyers, when you get their brochures, it says. Paid for by the New York State Republican Party, mm -hmm. which is a typical way to do it. Now, Bill de Blasio couldn't r roll money through the because New York they were, State. Right, because they Cuomo was controlling Cuomo. It, right. But the Republicans at all the time, they run it right through the state party. Right. right. You know? Well, what I'm trying to say is when I saw who was involved in this, and I saw, and I see the name Acorn, now you have to say maybe there's some meat on this bone because they've been skirting creatively campaign finance uh, they break the law every day. For a long time. Brian, Brian hit the nail on the head. Look, when you have a committee that's only ever accepted $5,000 checks, and then one day they have $500,000, yeah. how is that not a red flag? Right. From people right. from Texas. Right. right. You know? Well, right. well, Greg Ball moved to Texas. This was, this was before. And I, oh. broke, I broke that story, it, too, that yeah. he was uh, It's like those police officers that have, like, a Ferrari and a yacht. And right. So, like, something's wrong hey, here. Hey, I had no idea that he was right. on the take. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. All right. So great, great dig by yes. Brian. Kudos. But now, That's do you a great think, job. I want to know your, your opinion because you do this inside thing. Do where's it going to go? Where's this going from here? I think they're in trouble. They're deep, deep in trouble. Pre, Pre Pahara is the real deal, and they will not serve subpoenas. My understanding is for most of these federal investigations and for the FBI and stuff, they don't serve subpoenas until it's like done. 
Right? They don't let you know that they're investigating you until they're almost wrapped up the investigation. Right, right. And now all they're looking for is just nail down some of the last evidence. So is that going to happen with the Blasio? Is it going to, I mean, Wolf they is, gotten, Wolf is they screwed. They have not gone after the Blasio sure. yet. No, but what so about this some of this guy stuff only at, stays with the staff level. What about this guy working for Cuomo? Does Cuomo throw him under the bus? Never. No, Cuomo's people are the most loyal people on earth. I didn't say, did they throw Cuomo under the bus? I said, does Cuomo throw him under the bus? I don't think that one's going to lead to anything. I, okay. I don't see a very good family friend. You know Bart Schwartz? No. He's representing, uh, I believe it's Cuomo right yes. now. Yes, right. He brought you out this. My mom's best friend is his, it, my mom's best friend is Bart Schwartz's wife. So he's wrapped up in this too. And, and Prococo is from South Salem, as is Bart Schwartz. Oh. Uh -huh. Just Lynn Lewisboro. So it's all tied in locally. All right. Uh -huh. So today is May 3rd. Yes. The Indiana primary is just done. What a snooze. Well, last fact. week, and last week was the New York primary. We discussed okay. that. You right. weren't here because you were putting up That seems like it was years ago. Signs. Right. It <laughs> but, felt like God. But it, you had the New York primary and you had the uh, the Estella primary. And before, you know, between shows. That. And that, that, was, was, that was New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island. Maryland. Maryland. Maryland and or Pennsylvania. Delaware. And Pennsylvania. Right. And, so, and Trump and... That's where we're at. What right, is it Trump, saying? where we are right now? Okay, right now it's... Trump is at 51.6%. Cruz is 359 oh, that's not good. Kasich no, at 7.6%. Oh, Sanders has pulled ahead... Earlier tonight, he was actually down in the poll. Right, he down was down in the, 10 in the polls earlier. Uh, well, down in the polls, but actually these... I mean, the down actual, in the... Yeah, the actual vote. The returns. He's right. now at 52.7. Wow, he's Clinton, going up. And Clinton is at 47.3. Wow, You're like, uh, well, uh, Tim Russell gonna, over here. Where's the whiteboard? Well, Sa Sanders is going to actually pull it right. out tonight. Trump is clearly now... The Republican well, nominee, there's no... No, Trump's going to fade. Rubio is going to get oh, it. Oh, you stop with that. <laughs> now, what, what's and important to remember is is uh, uh, Democratic primaries do not do winner-take-all. So no, they're rigged. They're, uh, uh, they're and you're talking to Dan. So you're saying... Rigged. Rigged. Yeah, rigged. You're saying. <laughs> as long as they stay within uh, like uh, 8 percentage points or 10 percentage points yeah. of each other, they just split it. So no, that means I, Bernie will gain first all, absolutely no delegates on him. I want to know if it means anything. Now, Indiana was an early voting state. And it seems that now we're seeing as these returns are coming in now, the late voters on Republican and Democrat side, Republicans late voters have been going for Cruz, and the Democrat they late have? voters are oh, going for Hillary. I thought they were going for Trump. No, they're going for Trump. Not the late voters. That's what, do you, what, do you mean, what, what do you mean Because by Trump was initially up with the early voting count. He was initially up uh, 20 points. Now he's down to 15. God, how much more is this guy yeah, going to win? No, but that's just different districts. No, I'm saying, but be... they did the early vote count first. Well, they, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so the people and, who voted normally And when they did the early vote count Cruz. twice, right. her, uh, Hillary was up 10 points over Sanders. All this now has happened to the people that voted today, these results coming right. in. Right. I call them the late voters. Oh, okay. And I'm saying that we're seeing that the late people, and we've seen this throughout the elections on both sides of the aisle, that the front runners go into it with the lead, but as it gets chipped away, it keeps getting chipped away by last minute voters. Yeah, but wait a minute. The but last... that, but what I'm, what I'm saying, I didn't say they lose. I said it gets chipped away. Yeah, but no, but let's go by this. I'm looking the at a poll here yeah, that was taken before right. tonight the in Maris Indiana. It had just... Trump 43, right. Cruz 32, and Trump Kasich outperformed 15. It. Yeah, Trump outperformed the the, the he Maris poll. The Maris New York, poll. He outperformed the Acela. The Maris poll this morning was fifty percent uh, Trump, thirty four Cruz. That's What's really the number? Forty three, thirty two. Same it, thing. It's so he actually outperformed it. it well, uh, they, right. I think personally, what's going on? What happened in Indiana? Because last week Cruz was up. Last right. week Cruz was up. Right. Then San Francisco happened. San Francisco. That was when Trump went to two speaking engagements, and they were rioting. These were not protests. Oh, yeah. These were riots. These were people all with Mexican flags saying, make America Mexico again. Rocking the car. They showed all, a woman in a car literally praying. All car getting validating. Rocked, all stuff. validating. I, I disagree a thousand percent. No, that's all validating <laughs> what Trump is saying. Uh, and that was the mistake. Well, the See, headlines, all the headlines say know. is violence at, at outside Trump rally. Yeah. They didn't really say. No, 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 they had no, the no, pictures. I, listen, no, Cruz was doing that. great, and then he announced Carly yes, Fiorina. Yes, that's is his. Yes. And, and, and people mocked him. Here, here's what happened. It was, it was weird. Because he, he went with the establishment. No, Cruz went with Fiorina. You know, I and five hours later, Donald Trump shows up at a town hall meeting <coughs> with Bobby Knight. 
And Bobby oh Knight Cruz, on Cruz screwed up the, the, the basketball. He called it a basketball he, he ring. Calls it a basketball, basketball ring. ring. You say that in Indiana that and Bob Knight's with basketball Trump, you're is done. sacred there. Yeah, you're you done. Do, uh, that, that was over what that night. I and, think... then, and then since then, Digger Phelps <laughs> and Lou Holtz yeah, right. have now supported. You don't, it was think, you know, you don't think There's a meme on that, Facebook. That, it said after, Tr- after Trump loses Indiana, he's gonna, uh, after Cruz loses Indiana, he's going to name his cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think that the Cruz Kasich alliance had to be a seller primary no. for Cruz? That, it, it did. Yeah, it yeah, did. That was a joke. Yes, about it. You know that why? People off. Because it never that helped. That showed Trump that he was right about yes. all this is rigged. Yes. yes. Those two things. I yes. think the weird VP yes. thing. I and still the, uh, think yeah. San Francisco helped Trump a for lot Cruz, with listen, the undecided. Listen, because you had all know. these people who would sign saying "Make America Mexico." No. And they were actually stopping, trying to stop him. And then he still gets circumvents them and gets in to speak, showing strength no. and not no, weakness. No. I'll tell and you the what. first thing out of his mouth, he says, man, I felt like I just crossed the border. But didn't Trump already win the nomination? I mean, am I missing something here? I mean, I thought he doesn't was... have twelve. No, he still doesn't now. have the, the, the number. It's no, he not, hasn't gotten the see, number. Our, yeah. the Republican system is not as corrupt as the Democrat system. <laughs> we're yeah, we're still, pretty close. No, no, we're still more sneaky about it. Yeah. We wait till yeah. the convention <laughs> to pull the rug out from under the, <laughs> the people's choice. Is that when Paul Ryan is going to be the nominee? <laughs> That's oh, when no. Paul Ryan becomes. And the now they're talking about some general that they're going to actually. Yeah, it's been out there for a while. Who's this? I forget his name. Wesley Clark didn't the Democrats try that? Yes, they did. <laughs> but in, anyway, I think those, Madonna endorsed him. But getting ridiculous. back to you, anyhow, the San Francisco thing only helped Trump in California because if you saw the polling there, oh, he's way up there. He he yeah. went from a three four point over Cruz to now it's fifty. See, but those protesters 50. don't realize if if Trump was a normal Republican, those protests might hurt Take him effect. a little bit. Yes, because the but because Trump cuts through the BS. Those protests actually show that he's. Might be right when he says this. It stuff. galvanizes his support base because it show he, he can say once again, "This is what I'm telling you." And not only and that, can, but I, I blame the it. protesters on Bernie Sanders. Now, yes. <laughs> Sandernistas. Oh, now, let me, now, now let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Hillary's got a problem, a lot of them, but one particular one now. She goes before. Hillary's these, not running television ads anymore. I know because they said they, they're not going to run Because ads. she's they're putting just, a foot in her mouth. Well, she runs an ad. She's wrapping she up. She runs an ad, and then it's like what Clint. It's like what her clues she's with New York. Relax the clock. Back in over. Iowa. Oh. Back in Iowa. Before anybody thought New York was going to matter, Cruz is going New York values. Yeah. No, he wasn't getting New get York to, anyway. And then we get to New York, and now that comes back to bite him in the ass. Not really. Hillary Clinton is in Ohio saying, we're going to kill the coal industry. And two weeks ago... Did I missed that speech? Yes. <laughs> it, no, no, it's, been, it's not up there. They, they, in fact, MSNBC played it because they were interviewing these people that were at a table with She's going to pick Sherrod Brown, the senator from Ohio, to be her vice president. Oh, let Canada. me finish. Let me finish. And then it's over. It's not gonna let me finish I, what Ohio. the problem is here. She goes and makes this thing, we're going to kill the coal industry. Two weeks ago, the biggest coal uh, industry, uh, producer, provider in the United States just filed for bankruptcy. Western Pacific, I think it's called. And they just filed for bankruptcy. And then she said, we're going to kill the coal industry. And uh, she goes to West Virginia and these people... So said, that was popular they, there. These people are, are out of work because they're killing the coal industry. <laughs> right. And she says, but I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> she says, I actually didn't say it. It's a definition so, so, of is So is wait a second. She says, I didn't say that. So then MSNBC, which I really don't like to look, actually plays the clip of her in Ohio saying, we're going to kill the coal industry. That clips around. She's screwed well, in the general election. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, is there a, a pro coal vote that I'm missing over yeah. there? No, no, is there, no, no. Energy does someone and, have to kill the coal and, industry? No, That's no. like saying Darren. I'm, I'm going to eradicate the use of horseshoes no, in no, America. No, 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 no. Well, it's well, an industry that's dying. No, no, they're closing no, no, on no, their no, own. We no, were, they're closing on their own because the Obama yeah, yeah. industry and he said this. I don't this, think you have to blame Barack yes, Obama. Yes, you can. Two thousand and eight. for? Does anyone use coal? No, no, they ship it to China. So and they do. I mean, who uses coal? China. But guess who does? <laughs> With a no, straight face, like China. China. Yes. China hasn't discovered other forms of energy. No, yet. they use. They are the biggest right now. We are the biggest coal supply. A the little Asian coal. tiny Tim is waiting for coal we to have, work. We have the God. biggest supply of coal in the That's world. That's crazy. And it isn't crazy. That's economic. But anyway, what happens? 
is that in 08, and I've written about this, and the, the clip is out there on YouTube, Obama speaking to the uh, San Francisco. In the San big Francisco. Paper. That was the guns and Bible thing. Right. No, no, but Cl he's speaking cleaners. before the editorial board of the big paper in San Francisco, saying, I'm not against coal. I'm just going to bankrupt the companies that try to produce it. And since then, with the regulations coming out, the uh, five companies have gone bankrupt. So they're not going bankrupt from the lack of... Uh, <coughs> People wanting the product, they're going bankrupt because they can't afford to produce it. Right. And Hillary says, I'm going to continue this. Now, the problem is, who mines coal? Miners. Union workers. Ah! Now, this is what gets me. You tell me how many times you're a Democrat. What was Loretta Lynn? Who was Loretta Lynn? Oh, what? jeez. She has something to do with coal. The, 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 the song. Coal Miner's, Miner's Daughter. daughter. Right. She but was wait a second. Her dad. You tell me. Her you keep telling me how you are a Democrat because they're pro union. I, I Yet they're killing. I don't think this is going to be an issue with the election. I really uh, don't. You don't think so? It'll, It'll be in those states that bigger, we're There's bigger. Here, here, in those states. Here we got two. Well, those states happen to be Pennsylvania, but West Hillary Virginia, and Ohio. Hillary is very anti gun. We probably never. Oh, that's going to go big in Pennsylvania, too. Do you remember how John Kerry had to go shoot a rifle or whatever? Because they needed to be. That is going to be a much bigger issue. No. I think that that's going to <clears throat> That's no pun intended, a wider scope. <laughs> I'm telling you, no, we, got less, than, Trump, we got less than Trump two minutes. We got less than one minute. We got less than two Trump minutes. Trump actually might be pro gun control. I'm telling you, so, his son owns a gun. So, how uh, long before oh, his, actually, his son kills, <laughs> shoots he hunts or something. African animals? All right, here's a question oh, to the panel. How long before Trump and Hillary get into the war of words? They've started. Tonight. They've started. They've started. They've started. Yeah, yeah they Trump's started. already called her, uh, what does he call her? Crooked Hillary. Crooked Hillary. Yeah. Okay, Sienna poll came out and said 82% of New Yorkers value and are worried about um, ethics in their politicians. Oh, God. No, yeah, but they Does that mean they're not going to vote for Hillary Clinton? They voted for her. They right, that's, I'm saying it's a waste poll. When you read These my polls column. Are ridiculous. When you the other, read the my 20%, column. The, the 20 percent actually work in Albany. When you read yeah, my no, column. You're right. <laughs> Cruz just dropped out of the race. Breaking news. Breaking news. Real breaking news. What? Although we'll be Cruz breaking one up. Break. Right. When you see this, it won't sure, be breaking. Sure, you know, Indiana Cruz was in Cruz just move. dropped out. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. Okay. Because then. <laughs> so Kasich now. Kasich oh, gets gone. all the support. F that. Man. Now, Guys, get out. Like Hillary it. versus We've Trump. In these closing it. moments, yes. I'm making a prediction. Cruz yeah. dropping out. He becomes Trump's VP. No, no way. Will you stop with that? You've been telling me for six months that. Well, hold on a second. Let's not want to hear that anymore. The one person who's been right this whole way on the yeah. Republican side yeah. is him. No, I've, I've been saying something. Oh, you haven't too? The whole oh, time? Yes. Okay. I've been, well, you're not often enough. I, I don't you're know. not here often enough. Yeah, we're we're here back in and I've been putting it in a... And well, Obama and Hillary didn't love and each I've been other. JFK and, and the LBJ didn't and love I've each been other. Putting it in Reagan and Bush didn't love each other. Yeah, you also said Sanders was going to win. And he doesn't need... No, I know my colleague. He'll tell you the column I wrote when Sanders announced. I said the system was rigged. They'll never let Sanders have it. You were still working for them when I wrote that column. Working. Oh yeah. About the system being rigged. Yes. I wrote. No, no, no. Okay, I never said. Not, I, I said he that made Bernie Sanders would win, win the primary. That was <laughs> on the list. He's winning tonight. Not not like I agree. Give he the continues nominee. to make his case properly. But I want. My, I, I'm going on record here. I don't think Al Sharpton will be the VP. Right. I mean, yeah, that's not a. That's not going on the limb. Just no. because saying Sanders is like, everyone knew Sanders wasn't going to win. No, no, except a lot of people on Facebook. Excuse me. Nobody's doing anything back.